Hey, can I rant for a minute, bruh? I'm 35 years old, and I have been maining Lee since the very first Tekken game. I have played through every iteration of Lee, every change, every new move addition, everything. Lee was never that popular of a character. That's why you've never seen him in any major tournaments or any big events or anything like that. I honestly don't believe in tier lists, but for the ones that do, let me try to put it in a language that you understand. Since the very first Tekken, Lee has always been like a C- to C- tier character. And out of all the years of Tekken being a thing, only one person won a tournament, and I think it was at a local one. I think it was like Bloodhawk or somebody. Any other time, you'll see Jack, Kazuya, Jin, hell, even Kuma at times. And maybe this is just me, but I always took pride in using a character that nobody else wanted to use. It's just something with me in fighting games. I've always been that type of person. And the reason for that is, anytime I see a tournament, you know, you always see the exact same characters, people doing the exact same combos with them, taking combos that other people did, not trying to learn on their own, which in a way, you know, I understand, but at the same time, damn, everybody doing the exact same thing with the same character, it gets boring. So when it came to using characters that other people didn't use, I always took myself as like a like a breath of fresh air. Like, oh, this guy is good with a character that nobody seems to be using. And I know I'm just not speaking for myself here. Maybe to this new wave of fighting game players who just started playing Tekken like at Tekken 7, Y'all, this may not mean nothing to y'all, but to my generation, this meant a lot. And to be honest, Lee was always a niche character. If you didn't know what you was doing, you wouldn't pick him. And you would only have to assume because of that, anytime somebody used him, they knew what they was doing. I said all that to say this. I have never seen this many Lee players in my life. Ever since Tekken been online, I can honestly say, hell, even in person, I've went up against maybe 12 other Lee players. And to be honest with you, I can honestly say we all played the character different. Lee never had a flow chart. He never had a set way to play him because nobody else really played him like that. There weren't no online tutorials, so you had to figure out your own way to use the character. In that element of it, you, you took a sense of pride with playing Lee. Because he was always high risk, low reward. And even though you couldn't shake that element of him, he was still a character that if you knew what you was doing, you could bypass that. That's the reason why the, the Lee main community, we came up with a slogan. We don't do it for the damage, we do it for the swag. That's where that whole thing comes from. So it'd be crazy to me when I'd be seeing people in their streams, I'd be seeing people online complaining about how tough of a character Lee is. I mean, if you're good with a character, you can cover up their weaknesses, but Lee is so low on that tier list. I mean, in Tekken 8, they, because of the heat system, he kind of went up a few notches, but at the same time, y'all complaining about Lee? That's crazy to me. I mean, damn, is it just me? Am I tripping?